Hey, how's it going guys? James Payne here with tips and subtleties on another piece of sleight of hand. Today we're going to be going over the Tenkai Palm. Very useful palm, very beginner palm. Um, it'll teach you like the, the basics on how to actually hide a card and stuff like that. Um, I know today's video is a little early. That's because I kind of failed to do a video Friday. So this is kind of like me making up for it, shooting out a, a video a little early. Um, I'll also still be posting up another video this Friday, so you will be getting two videos this week. So besides that, let's get straight into the Tenkai. The Tenkai Palm, if you don't know what it is, it's basically getting a card, showing it to them, and then being able to take it out from the middle of the deck. Uh, there's much more uses than actual stealing it. Uh, you can either control it, bring it back to the top, to the bottom, or again, steel because it is called the tank guy steel so let's just get straight into it so how you do it first you want to know how to hold it so the best way I can put it is like let's say you want to basically lay out your hand flat and you want to kind of cut your palm in half with the card and then just reach over with your thumb and then that's it this is now Tenkai and then put it flat to the ground and now you shouldn't be able to see it and you're pretty relaxed right um, it doesn't really matter where the tank is at it could be here it could be here here totally up to you it's whatever you feel comfortable with me personally i like it here just because i can switch it straight to lateral palm if i need to and i'll go over that as well on things that you can do with the tank guy but for now, let's just get the basics. So one more time, cut it in half, reach over, and you're there. Don't think about it too hard. It's not a hard move. Getting into it is easy. Stealing it out will be the more difficult part. But just remember this because it is very crucial. So to get on with the actual steel itself. So it's done through the middle, right? and you would steal it out like so. It'll be a little hard to teach, so just pretend that there's another deck on top, and then it being on top right now is essentially the middle. So you have the card sticking out, right? And you're showing it to them. When you put it into the middle, how I do it, my hand is like this. And I basically push like that, mainly more pressure on the middle finger. Because what I want it to do is kind of look like this, more like that, all right? From your point of view, it's what it should look like, all right? So you want it to look like that. Now each corner there's a reason on why it should be like that. So we'll start off with this corner. The reason why there's a gap here is because your thumb is go here. And then when you want to steal it, you don't want that thumb to be in the way. Here and here is how you're going to control the card out with your left thumb and your left pinky. And I'll show you that here in a second. This, this actually doesn't have a purpose. This kind of just goes in. But it's these three corners that you need to have correctly. So I'm gonna show it to it one more time. You, let's just say I put it into the middle. You show, you're covering the whole thing like this because if you just do it like that, people are gonna see what's going on. So I cover the whole thing. So I'm gonna open it just so you can see a little bit more, but just know that when you to do this in real time, make sure you cover the whole thing. You're going to apply pressure with the middle finger. So it causes it to do this. So since this is out of the way, and like I told you, you're going to grab this and this, and it's gonna be held like that. So your pinky is gonna be at the, at the bottom of it and then your thumb is kind of just on the corner, right? 
so it should look like this. Now, to pull it out, now when you're doing the motion, it's not pushing forward, right? You're not pushing it forward. You are pulling this back. You're pulling the card back, right? To achieve this, because this is eventually what you want to get into. So once you're here, and you have this in, in position, pull it back by pinching this left side, just the left side, obviously keep this covered. This is kind of just for instructional purposes. And you want to pull this back. I know this is hard to show, but this is kind of like the best you can do to teach the Tenkai, All right? But it should just be like this. And then you want it to be like this, pretty much. So now that you're there, now that you're successfully here, this card is in perfect position for you to put it here in the middle, like we discussed earlier, and just grab. And then all you're doing is just pulling this out. And you are now in the Tenkai Steel. So one quick overview. So you're gonna put it into the middle, right? Well, I'm gonna pretend to put it in the middle then you only want to push with the middle finger, All right? These two covers is kind of just for cover until it's in this position. And you want to pinch the left side of the deck and you want to grab these two corners like we discussed earlier. You're gonna pull this back until you can't anymore once it's there, it should look like this, but inside the deck, obviously. And then you are going to essentially just steal. And you're now into palm. Now to show you my tips for the Tenkai. Uh, a few things I like doing with it is I like using it as a control. That's actually how I first learned it. So I'll teach you that first. So how I use it as a control. I would have them pick one, out jog it, show. Once I've done that steal, right, I usually like to point to the deck because if I just do this, it's weird. It's a weird action. So I like to point, just be like, look, card somewhere in the center and then do any kind of one-handed cuts. And then from here, I would just replace it back. And then basically all I did, if you didn't see already, all right, so after you, after you point, all I'm doing is coming here and then on the bottom, I'm just pulling it and then I'm rotating it. So it's just a little, a smoother transition. So as you point, done. And then now you have it controlled to the bottom and you could do whatever you want from there. Now, I don't really have a way to control it to the top, um, but I kind of use the Tenkai as like a ambitious card, I guess. So how I did it was the same thing. Show, steal the card. And then what I used to do is look, you just, I would say, hey, you just saw it in the middle. I would push this card up and then simultaneously push this card in and reveal the card. So how it looks in full motion, it looks just like that. Again, not really much to it. You kind of just, this one you kind of just got to practice in front of a mirror or a camera so you can get that timing right. You're just here. All right. And then you're giving it to them. And that's it. You want to actually steal it out and have it in palm. So I would normally only do this sitting down, right? If I was just at a table or something, this is how I would use a Tenkai steel. So once you steal that out and you point, I would just rest my hand down and just make sure that nobody can see it, right? If you want to turn a little bit more, you should be fine, but I usually just keep it there. No one's really looking, so I wouldn't really worry about it. And then from here, you just give it to them and they just start shuffling, right? 
And then again, when you give it back, you can do one of two things. You could do that motion or you would just put it back and then you have it and that's a good way. And then you could bottom deal it out if you want to. You can, I don't know, pop it out and then just be like, look, I can cut straight to your card and then do that whole jazz. Uh, whatever you want to do at that point. So not much with the Tenkai, but hopefully you liked all these tips. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned a lot on the Tenkai Palm. If there's anything that you wanted to add or anything you would like to share that maybe I didn't cover and you want other people to know, uh, go ahead and write down in the comments below. If you did like today's video, like if you truly liked today's video, then go ahead and please, please leave that like. It definitely helps me out. And please consider subscribing. I am trying to post a video every Friday. If not, unlike today's video, I'll always make it up the next week. So like I said in the beginning, you'll be getting two videos this week. Um, one today, Wednesday, and I'll still be posting up this one on Friday. So besides that, I really got nothing else. Peace.